As science teachers, we throw words at students left and right. In fact, I've heard tell, I've never counted myself, but I've heard it say, said that in the average chemistry class, a student learns more new words than he does in his first year of a foreign language. And that's without a reference, because in foreign languages, casa and house have a meaning and they're connected. In chemistry, we throw out words like element, compound, mixture. And what happens is very frequently what we do is we just define them and go on. And we'll throw out uh, terms such as element and say, hey, all one kind of matter. And students are supposed to memorize that, remember that. I've come up with a very simple demonstration that allows students to take a concrete concept that they can refer back to mentally in terms of the definition of element and compound. What I have over here is an element. We'll call this element B for bowl. Now, you don't have to use that, but what we have is a very simple thing. And if I have multiple pieces of B or bowl, I have atoms of the element bolt. Very simple concept. All one kind. They all look alike. We don't know what an atom really looks like. We say that all the same kind of atom. But now students have some sort of a concrete thing to hold on to. Now, we can then go and we can say, well, now we have an element nut. Okay, students generally have some sort of a connection. They are familiar with bolts and nuts, and we can say this is the second element that we have. We can go one step further, and we can go to a collection of washers, element W. And what we have here is we have a third element. So we have three elements, bolts, nuts, and washers. For the term mixture, we say different amounts of different elements or compounds put together so that what we have is a random number. We don't necessarily have anything, so we have a mixture. Here we have a mixture of bolts, nuts, and washers. Concrete example, we're able to look at them. Finally, we come up with the word compound, and we say two or more elements combined, put together, chemically attached. The terminology that we throw out is very often uh, not too meaningful to students. However, if we say, okay, now, what do we have here? We have a compound. We have a compound. We have four molecules of B and N, or bolt and nut. Very simple concrete example of what we're talking about. They're attached. They're joined together. They are now one thing. And that's what a compound is. A compound is a molecule made up of two or more separate parts that are joined together, chemically connected, chemically combined. And for our last example, we can go to a three-part compound, and we can have a bolt, nut, and washer compound. And again, combined, connected, attached, together. And if we want to go one step further, we can have a mixture further exemplified by not just elements mixing, but we can have elements and we can have compounds mixing together so that we have a random mixture of both elements and compounds. Simple, straightforward, concrete, something you can refer to any time it comes up in class, something that you can refer back with the students and say, remember those bolts and nuts? That's what we're talking about when we have elements, compounds, and mixtures. So on a very basic level, vocabulary illustrated with concrete examples.